holder of pandemonium. In any city, in any country, go to a retirement home with the lowest number of residents in it. Go up to the front desk and ask to see a man by the name of Mr. Factions. The clerk will ask you to take a seat. Do so, but make sure you sit next to a few elderly people. Make conversation with them. Eventually, one will come and sit down next to you and ask you to come with him. Do so, and make conversation while you do. No need to be impolite. On the way past, you will meet the clerk again. She will be drenched in blood, coming from her eyes. She will be clawing at them, begging for mercy. The man will stop and look at her in pity. It isn't important if you try and console her, for their pain and frantic mind will block out all outside happenings, and any sort of physical interaction will result in her brutal and violent attack. Follow the old man until he comes to his room. You will notice it's the only room in the hallway with a lock. The lock will be undone. The next step is very important. Before the man opens the door, shut your eyes and hold them tight, lest you too wish to claw out your eyes. He will take your hand and lead you into his room. Wait until you hear him say, What are your eyes closed for? In which case you may open them. You will be in his room which is somehow significantly bigger than the building should allow. In the room there will be a bed, a rocking chair and a stool with a pillow on it. Lay on the bed. The stool is uncomfortable and the rocking chair belongs to the old man. You must converse with him. Start about whatever you wish but the topics will always seem to lead you to the objects and holders. A vibe will wash over you, seemingly originating from the man. It will be the feeling that you know whatever he is saying is true, and that you have no reason to hold back. Due to the feeling, you will understand everything he is saying, and if you begin to be confused, Take the time to ask him to clarify. If you do this, he will stop talking and ask to be excused. Whether or not you finish your long conversation, or he stops when you get confused, eventually he will ask to excuse himself and you will remain in his room, laying or sitting on the bed. Within moments the clerk will appear bloody in the doorway, and with her eyeless sockets she will glare at you. The longer you do not move, the longer she will stare. However, you must move eventually, and she will attack you. She will be brandishing any weapon she can find. You must fight this woman, and no matter how many times you try and kill her, she will get back up, until you finally kill her for what seems like the hundredth time. Your knuckles will be bloody, your body will be broken, and you will be exhausted. This time she will just lie there, and the man will come back. When he does, he will kindly tell you that you were not the man he was looking for, and he will implore you to leave before he gets aggravated with you for the mess you made. Begin to leave, but before you do, take the woman's body outside the room. The old man will close the door and you will hear him muttering to himself. Pay no attention, his role is at an end. The woman, however, is the holder of pandemonium. She will get up again, turn to you, and attempt yet again.
to murder you. This time, however, before she has the chance to kill you, say to her, Why must they be balanced? Her attack will discontinue, and she will sit next to you on the floor and begin to sob. This time, hug her, hold her, kiss her, and make her feel as loved as possible. Until finally she has the willpower to answer your question. She will give you the answer to your question. Then she will reach into her shirt and produce a small replica of her torn eye. Keeping the model on your person will make you feel only acceptance and understand all that is said to you. This clay statue is object 523 of 538. In pandemonium there is balance, 